Hey guys and welcome to the probably last video in this mini tutorial on ragdolling. Um, can you say that? Ragdolling? On, um, yeah, character ragdoll physics behavior. So he wanted to attach a few words to um, what I would call a full body blend between um, animation and uh, physics simulation. So, the thing is, I could never get that to work. Um, so, the thing is, right now, uh, either we are simulating a physics, like when we get ran, run down by the, the box, the evil box, yeah, um, or we are fully animating. But let's say I wanted to animate half and half, if, um, so he was kind of, so he was falling and was still trying to wave around with his hand in the air and um, uh, like with the falling animation but would still be able to get a push from something he hits on the way down or whatever I um, can't really do that right now and uh, let me show you what happens when I try that um, so inside the the mannequin inside the mesh we have the physics asset here so uh, that's what's been set up for us to begin with. So if I simulate, it's just gonna fall down like that. And if I, for example, pick a walking animation and simulate, um, well, set the physics blend up here to um, zero and hit play, he's gonna walk. So if you wanted to have something blending in between uh, zero and one, so let's say like uh, half and half like that, He's gonna make the crazy spin, and that's kind of weird, if you ask me. And he's gone. So I haven't fully understood what what is going on with that, but um, the only way, the closest I have come to something um, which is uh, uh, giving me something which I would want to have is if I click uh, right click the root and say new body and um, add this tiny little body down here it doesn't really matter where it is uh, it can just if I want to move it up to the, the hips it doesn't really matter where it is uh, I think as long as it doesn't collide with uh, any non adjacent uh, bodies so the, the hip is adjacent to the, the root but the legs aren't so in that case i would have to select the the other bodies here and say i didn't don't want a, a collision um where is it collision response disable i would have to pick but anyway this is not the case so if i simulate uh it's still uh, right now gonna make that spinning around um but if i pick my route again um Kind of weird you sometimes have to click these uh, to see where it is and then i select kinematic for the only for the root so the root is just going to animate always and then hit simulate it's gonna uh, actually do close to what i want but not really but let's say he was uh waving his arms around i don't really have that, an animation where he does that maybe um If I say no, um, gravity, and we have a falling jump loop animation. Okay, so this is uh, kind of what I get is making all kinds of uh, jittering which I am not really satisfied with but the thing is he w I would be able to what was it control left right uh, left click right click okay so right now I'm, I'm able to push him or impact him let's call it that one he let's assume he was falling and hits a rock on the way down uh, he can react like that so uh, if I put it all the way down to let's say all the way up so oops wrong button 
Hmm. Still the wrong button. So, okay. So that would give it give him something like this. Let's say he's falling down and he he hit a rock like in the head. That would happen. But he's still making a lot of jittering and yeah, it's kind of uh, unpredictable what he does. So. I guess the idea with this was originally to make a quick transition from either zero to to one. So um, try this and only very briefly have uh, this, and then go on the way down, and then come to a rest. Okay, so just a few words I wanted to add to this, um, and also. Um, um, that was also the reason why I ended up, uh, part of the reason why I ended up using this where I set bodies below and put the weights on here because I wanted to experiment a little bit with this. Um, and the other reason why it was that um, I heard somewhere that if you set the pelvis uh, then um, the collision capsule would not get detached from the, from the mesh. But apparently that doesn't really work. So I guess you could just go back to using the set uh, simulate physics version of this. Uh, it would probably work. So a um, few more things I want to um, address. Is it something you can actually see here? Because even though we have physics blend set all the way to, to one, uh, we have an animation running apparently. If I stop this, you can see that he stops moving, He's still making a little, little bit of moving movement, but I think that is um, because we don't have enough damping damping on uh, some of the bodies, so they they are just still gonna. And we uh, also have not no uh, gravity right now, so um, yeah, that's probably it. Um, let me get rid of that because it's not really working uh, if I run this. So I'm just going to get rid of that again. And um, in order to, we'll, we will see this eventually when we are in uh, in here and he turns into a ragdoll. Uh, he will sometimes make end up uh, lying down, making very subtle movements or spasms, or, and he keep doing that. You can see when I press walk forward or back, uh, even press jump, it's gonna uh, still animate. So the thing is, um, in order to get rid of that, or just putting completely to sleep, let's call it that, we could add a little extra thing. So once we have the, we have the event tick here running and um, that makes our capsule follow the mesh. So what we can add in here is make a little branch, uh, a little check um if um get uh, physics uh angle the um, linear velocity uh of, let's say our pelvis so uh, let's say we're not tumbling down or uh, anything right now anymore we are look, uh, looking like we are pretty uh, stationary in um yeah let's check the vector length of that and sometimes it will end up not being completely zero but let's say uh, it, it's nearly zero so let's put in 0 0.2 so once it gets pretty close to that we uh, want to put him completely to, to, to rest so two ways of doing this um, which you can actually combine uh, let's make sure we set a variable for this so let's call this uh, is sleeping bad name but let's uh, just use this for now so we set this it's true and once um, we um, wake him up again put him back to not simulate and all that stuff we want to make sure to set is sleeping to be false so he is waked up uh, again okay um, so yeah, as mentioned, um, two things we can do. One thing is to say the mesh is ticking and everything uh, happening on the mesh is uh, going to be driven by a, a tick event. Uh, so we can set uh, tick 
component tick enabled. We can set that to false. Um, so to false, yeah. Whoops. So once he comes to rest, he's now completely stationary. Oh, uh, and the thing is, now he's stiff like a board. <laughs> Why is it that? Uh, oh, yeah, because I don't re-enable re him. Uh, okay, so um, that's something we, we need to do down here as well. Um, but the thing is, let's say that we uh, don't have anything for this right now. So I'm just going to invent a button here. So um, um, apply uh, impulse, I think it's called uh, mesh. Okay, add impulse, add impulse. I think this is something we can use. So let's add 10,000 impulse to his pelvis when we press uh, N. So we need to go into rectal. So when I press N, I'm going to push him. So if we let him come to a complete rest, he's, you can see now he's kind of stiff. And if I apply force, let's say somebody drives, drives over him again, or kicks him around, he's going to be stiff like a board like this. So maybe this is not what you want. Um, so another way to come around this, uh, which I saw on, uh, on the forum, um, is instead of well, the thing is, if you, you can get away with this and not ha have, um, have him move around, maybe replace him with a, a copy or whatever as a static mesh, I don't know if that's possible, uh, to save uh, performance, um, then this is preferable because this disables all uh, tick uh, events just happening uh, on, on the, uh, the mesh, which will yeah maybe save a little bit of performance. But anyway, let's get rid of that for now and uh, turn our head to the animation blueprint. So in here, um, what you can do is instead to uh, plug in a blend, uh, poses by bull, and um, on the event graph, on the update animation, uh, all the standard stuff we have here. Uh, let's drag out um, no, oh, let's press S and add a sequence and we connect that one and then um, say uh, get owning not get, get our actor and cast to a third person character and then let's get the value of is sleeping. And um, let's um, have a similar one in here. And set that to that value. So once we know we're the the third person character is sleeping then we know it here and uh, plug in sleeping here so if we are sleeping uh, if that is true then it will not take any input but if we are not sleeping then it will take our default uh, locomotion state machine uh, uh, input so that will put him uh, to sleep so if we uh, go ragdoll he is now in a complete rest so if I uh, give him an impulse now he's still going to be able to move uh, even though he is completely still and we can to make sure absolutely sure that he is this event has fired we can make a little print here saying hello um, so so now I said hello so we can uh, set hello quite a few times so now we can kick him around and now oh, he is in rest again. So that gets rid of any uh, extra, um, what do you call that, uh, 
stuff animating which we may have uh, running what is that warning ah okay can't add an impulse if you don't have physics enabled so if i press physics uh push here we are going to get the warning so that's something you want to check for of course so um, if you add an impulse here you want to check first if uh, he has physics enabled so but anyway um i think that's it for this video i um or actually for this uh, mini um, series of uh, ragdoll 101 i uh, hope you enjoyed and um, stay tuned for more um, tutorials for my uh, side i will um, see if i can come up with some more interesting stuff uh, in the future so until then bye bye